Hello. I hope this finds you and your loved ones well. It's a strange time, is it not? Just before I recorded this, and it's about quarter to ten in the morning when I'm recording this, I had a phone call. Completely out of the blue. A young lady by the sound of the voice said, Is this the party time? Is this a time for a party? I kind of went, What? What are you talking about? Who is this? And they went, Sorry, and hung up. It's probably a time for a party if you've nothing else to do. We need to fill our days. I'm grateful that I have work still to do, that I can still work in my study, that I can prepare services for the weekends, that I can prepare Bible studies, that I can do other bits and pieces of preparation and planning, which because of the busyness of life in the past few years I haven't got round to. But I'm reminded of all those folk who are struggling to fill their days. People who have been so busy and suddenly are doing very little. It must be so hard for you. And my thoughts and my prayers are with you. I'm not working in the evenings as much as I used to. And have to fill my hours. And you can only watch so much television. I like my television, but not all the time. And we're fortunate to have a number of box sets which we can look through, but even still, it's a wee bit boring. So my wife and myself and my son looked into our garage and found an old computer games console. It's more than 10 years old, and we took it out of the plastic box that it was in and wired it to television, and hey presto, it works perfectly. And so we've been playing in the evening some games, bowling, table tennis, other various bits and bobs. I have to say, I'm not that competitive. Well, those who know me will know that that's not quite true. And I don't like getting beaten all the time by my son. There's no reason why I shouldn't. He's in his 20s and I'm in my 60s, but I still don't like it. And so I think when he's at his work, I will be practicing some of these things so that I can at least give him a game. But one of the things that's on the console is a fitness tracker and I'm going to start today a daily fitness tracker going through exercises so in the next few weeks and months I might become either a, a waste of space here unable to move or I might become a wee bit fitter who knows but it's not just our bodies that we need to look after important though as it is it's our minds and our souls for my minds to keep my mind fresh I'm reading a book just now and it'll be a series of books that I'll be reading starting off with Fruitfulness on the Front Line it's a book by a chap called Mark Green it was meant to be read for my, my book club that met last week but obviously didn't and I hadn't actually read it so I decided to start reading it but as well as reading ordinary books there's scripture as well to look at so that my mind, my body and my spirit is fed. We are worshipping it each weekend and this weekend we will have the celebration of Holy Communion so your mind, your body and your spirit can be fed then too. I hope you'll join with me and in the meantime as I always say may the God of love bless you and may his face shine upon you and give you peace today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.